Okay, what this is, is this is basically a guide to show you how to write an essay, like what the format should be like. So I kind of just want to go over this just to review with you and make sure that we're on the same page about what the structure of an essay should be like when you go to write it, okay? So <clears throat> some of the things we're going to color coordinate. So for, with your highlighters, the first one you're going to need is pink. So you're going to take out pink, and this is showing you that in the first paragraph, you should have an introduction, about 40 words, at least three sentences, and the thesis should be somewhere as the teacher directs. I like it to be the last sentence. So what you want to do, we're going to highlight and color coordinate the thesis pink. Okay, then the next thing that you're going to need is blue. This is your body paragraph. So this is the first body paragraph. We're going to do the topic and the conclusion blue. And what this is showing is that anytime you write a body paragraph, the beginning and the end, should have a sentence that introduces you to this is what the topic is going to be about and then a sentence to kind of sum it up and conclude it okay then in the middle you're going to have green concrete details that cd right there is concrete details so what you might want to do is write CD equals concrete detail. So this is the part basically where you give like a quote or a fact from the book or the text or the article or whatever it is you're talking about. Then after you give that fact, you're going to explain it with commentary. So the commentary we're going to do yellow like this now also another tip is that before you do the commentary, a lot of people write these words. This shows. To kind of get your brain thinking like, okay, I have to explain the quote that I just gave. Because right here you're giving a quote, so you got to explain it for a couple sentences. Now, this whole thing right here, the green and the yellow yellow is called a chunk. So if I ever say chunk, I'm talking about having a concrete detail with commentary. It's okay if you have this ratio right here is basically a concrete detail with a commentary and a commentary to explain. It's always okay to add more commentary. So, because basically, think of it like the yellow is the gold, right? The yellow is the part where you're actually explaining something to me in your own words. And so, it's okay to have more than two sentences of that because that's basically the part where you're, I get to see what you're thinking, okay? Okay, go ahead and do the same thing to the next little paragraph. So, again, topic sentence and conclusion. We're going to color blue. Green is our concrete details. And yellow is our commentary.
Now this particular handout, this only has four paragraphs. The next one is a conclusion. You don't need to highlight that one. But if you were going to do a standard five paragraph essay, then you would just add one more of these body paragraphs. So you would have another paragraph with the blue, green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow, yellow, blue. Make sense? Okay. So now look at this handout right here. This is an example. Okay. This essay starts off with a hook and it says, Growing up, I've had my parents use several cliches and rhymes to teach me the dangers of automatically assuming things. My mother says things aren't always what they seem. My father says don't judge a book by its cover. In Of Mice and Men, characters often wrongly assume things about other people. George, Lenny, Curly's wife, and Crooks are very misunderstood by others on the ranch. So I can see that in the first paragraph right here, this sentence... That one right there is my pink thesis. Okay, this is the sentence that we were talking about when we said in paragraph one, you're going to have an introduction, at least 40 words or three sentences. You want to have kind of like a hook or interest grabber that leads into the idea of George Lenny, Curly's wife, and Crooks are misunderstood. Okay, so now let's look at we're basically going to be looking for this structure in the next paragraph. Okay, so it starts off with a topic sentence. Other people see George and Lenny's friendship as one getting more of it out of it than the other, but really they're just good friends. So that sets us up for the topic of George and Lenny, right? Then we got to give a fact. So they say, for example, when they start their new job, the boss says, what stake you got in this guy? You taking his pay from him. And then they explain. Basically, this shows the boss is suspicious and seems as if he assumes that someone is doing something they shouldn't. And then they continue. George and Lenny's friendship is not immediately apparent to others. So those are my two sentences that explain the quote. Now I give another quote to further prove it. In addition, Slim says to George, funny how you and him string along together. None of you guys ever travel together. And again, now it's time for my this shows commentary sentence. This shows... Slim is not as suspicious of people's motives as the boss because he doesn't automatically believe they are doing something wrong. Slim is a bit wary and confused about this new thing that he doesn't quite understand yet. Now, in this one, they go ahead and they give yet another concrete detail. So they say, furthermore, Lenny accidentally kills Curly's wife and and Curly and the others are after him, so George kills him as an act of mercy, and then they explain it. This shows that George loves Lenny like a brother and looks out for Lenny's feelings above his own. He doesn't want anyone else to kill Lenny because he knows they would not be as gentle as he is. So that's the commentary to explain the quote or the fact that he kills Curly's wife and the others are after him, so he gets killed in an act of mercy. Then the last thing they gotta do is kinda conclude it and, and give it closure to this paragraph. So they say, friendships like George and Lenny's are rare and little, a little understood thing to people of that time. So you can see they followed the format. They have blue at the beginning and end, to introduce the paragraph, to close the paragraph, and then in between it's always green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow, yellow. Okay? So, and these are the chunks right here. So, and again, right here where it says the boss, don't be afraid to add in to, to help you know 
that that's where you explain us to add in this shows. One more thing to notice too is notice, go ahead and circle and notice the transitions. For example, starts the first quote or fact. And then the next quote or fact says, in addition. And then the next quote or fact says, furthermore. <coughs> okay, so what you're going to go ahead and do is you do the next paragraph, the next two, and then we'll check it. But you can see the, the basic structure. And I'll show you another one. Uh, let's see here. So you can see if you look at one that's completely done, you can get a sense of what the organization looks like. 